The theatre before the theatre. Huh? Good evening and welcome to day 36 of the 100 Days of Shakespeare event. My name is Paul Adams from Small Crown Productions and it's great to have you here. Tonight we are talking about the theatre, not the theatre industry, not the theatre community, but the actual theatre, the very first amphitheatre theatre called the theatre that was built before the globe was built. So we know that the Red Lion was built as a theatre before the theatre, uh, but there is very little uh, evidence of what it looked like. So there is some uh, records that suggest that it was about a 40 foot wide stage and um, potentially still very rectangular in its shape. In 1576, James Burbage built the theatre. Now, this was the very first polygonal shaped theater that we have. And so let us jump into um, our PowerPoint. Where is our PowerPoint? Here we go, the theater. Um, so you will have seen more than likely this image from a uh, period, which was a sketch of the Swan Theatre. So there, after the theatre, there were a number of theatres built all in similar designs and the Swan was one of them. So we don't actually have any kind of image of the theatre, uh, but many of the other theatres after it were built based on its model. And so this is a pretty famous sketch of uh, what's believed to be the Swan Theatre, um, which was another one of the ones that was built. So we know it was a similar sort of shape. Um, and it was built outside of the city limits of London in Shoreditch. And uh, I'll just see, hopefully you can see, but there it is. So that's the main sort of city center of London here. This is the main sort of city part. And then up here, out in the suburbs, that is Shoreditch. And that is where the theater was built. Now, a year later, the Curtain Theater was built practically right next door, like 200 meters down the road. So within 12 months, there was considerably a competing theater out right next door. Why would they do that? Well, it turns out that James Burbage, who built the theater, was actually a business partner of the guy that built the Curtain Theater. And so they ended up, according to some records, striking a deal where they would, you know, basically pull money, pull audiences. And then they actually used the curtain as a feeding ground into the theater. So they would get people to come and see the very simplistic kind of easy to watch type plays at the curtain. And then as audiences kind of got more attuned and, and, and uh, affiliated with that kind of work, they could move them uh, up into the theatre for some more of the complex work. So fascinating sort of stuff. Now, the theatre was built on some land leased by a, from a guy called Giles Allen. Now, Giles Allen was actually a Puritan, which is a you know staunch Protestant. But this is a layout sketch of the land where the theatre was built. So you can see here, that's the theatre itself. And then uh, there's some barns right beside it. Because this is out in the suburbs. So it's kind of like farmland. Um, there's some gardens and things here. And uh, I can't remember what that is. It's a, it's a farm or a pasture or a lake or something like that. But you've got barns here and uh, the theatre itself just there. So this land was leased from James Allen, uh, Giles Allen for 21 years. Now... Being a staunch Puritan, he ended up not really liking the plays and the players and the whole concept of having a theatre on his land and decided to not renew the lease at the end of the 21 years. There was a clause that allowed them to extend that lease for five years. He didn't want to have that. Um, so there was a little bit of a legal tussle backwards and forwards about what they could do. Um, but cleverly, James Burbage, uh, and we'll get to him in a minute, uh, James Burbage had a clause put into the contract that allowed him to remove the materials from the site at the end of the lease. And so at the end of the lease, after this battle where it turned out that they weren't going to be able to extend the lease, they had to basically vacate. They pulled the theatre down 
and used all of the wood and moved it to the other side of the river and built the globe. And so the first globe theatre was actually built from the wood of the theatre. Now, James Burbage's son, Richard Burbage, who is the famous actor that worked with Shakespeare's company, um, was, was in The Lord Chamberlain's Men. And so James Burbage had a long history in the theatre. So he built the very first amphitheatre, took that down. At this point, the Lord Chamberlain's men are very much up and running. Has to move 1598, they build the globe. And the Lord Chamberlain's men are working there. Shakespeare, his son Richard Burbage, both working uh, within the theatre and the, uh, the globe. And, uh, you know, very soon after that, they became the King's men, um, with James the first. So that's, uh, that's the history of the theater. I mean, that's really it. There's, um, you know, some records that obviously, um, the shape of it, that polygonal siding, we know that it had two entrances where, uh, people could come in and, you know, we had the whole groundling set up just like we know from the globe. And so if you wanted to pay a little bit more, you could get out of the rain and into the covered areas. But what has, and we're actually going to do a, another video on the Globe and also Blackfriars, which was one of the smaller in theatres, um, internal theatres that um, James Burbage also owned. Um, and so we'll, we'll do a video on both of those so that we can kind of get a sense of the different playhouses that Shakespeare worked in. Um, but uh, the development from what they learnt at the theatre meant that when they went and built the Globe, they adapted some of the structure within the globe to better suit what they needed from the audience. We're talking money. So when we talk about the globe, I'll also cover off some of those changes that were made to the design, despite it having the same shape, some of the internal design that allowed them to actually collect more money easier from people coming into the theater. So there you go, a little bit of a rundown on the theater, built in 1576, basically pulled down in 1597, 98 to rebuild the globe. And uh, it was the very first amphitheater style theater in London. Thanks very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that was a little bit of something that you probably hadn't heard before. Not a lot of people really know about the theater, so it's, it's always exciting to talk about it. Um, Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you on the next one. And of course, it would be great if you could give this video a like, subscribe to the channel and uh, hang around, watch a couple more videos and learn a little bit more about Shakespeare, his life and his times. I'll see you there.